Let's piece the speed triple back together and bring it back to life before adding a couple of mods to it. The first item to tackle on this punch list is the headlight. To fit the loose fitting headlight, I needed to refit the mounting bracket behind the lens. I was lucky enough to buy what seemed to be the only second hand one available in the US on eBay. With that part fitted up, no more wobbly eyes. Today we'll be using only the finest products available. Renthal Superbike Grips and Tresemme Hairspray as a glue and a lubricant. But any hairspray will do, I suppose. It's as easy as removing these awesome mirrors and slicing down the grip with a fresh blade. Getting them on is another story. Just struggle away. In hindsight, I should have just used my air compressor. The third item to tackle would be the horrible clicking and locked out preloaded rear shock. Go ahead and pick up your favorite second hand spray painted shock on eBay for a fraction of the cost. I'll take my savings and use my favorite all purpose cleaner to rid myself of the overspray and coronavirus at the same time. Don't forget this critical step. Once it's cleaned up, wait two months to change the shock out with some help from your friend. I was like, oh, it's intuitive, you should put it back together. Boy. After the shock was swapped out, it was time to do everyone's favorite chore, fork seals. As you can see, this bike was in dire need of seals as it sat in a pool of its own fork piss. Luckily, on a naked bike, it's not too hard to knock out disassembly of the front end. I've also done it enough times on my previous speed triple to make this a cakewalk. The fork rebuild always sucks though. If you're lucky, you may be able to offer the forks as a sacrament to the speed gods, but they were not smiling upon me this day, as their only advice was to rebuild them. Alright, so I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to open up the top cap and dump all the oil out. Then I'm going to take the retaining bolt that holds the cartridge inside of the fork, loosen that and take it out, and then I'll be able to break the fork apart. And when doing that, I can pull the seal out as well. I'm not going to be able to film this because this is always an oily, nasty mess. So I'll be back once they're apart. The previously installed seals were chewed up on the interior. Oh, and with the new ones. There's one done. The unfortunate side effect of doing fork seals is there's always two of them to do. But nevertheless, time to fill it up with Honda's cough syrup and move on to the next one. Reassembling is as easy as disassembling.
that about wraps up this portion of work. I opted to leave the bodywork off of the bike for now to address some damage and repair some broken tabs on the side pieces. That will be coming up next. If you stuck around this long, thank you.